Look at that tongue. Look at the tongue. and taking you through Zoo Miami, which is the largest zoo in the entire area, really. It has over 3,000 different animals, and it is 328 acres big that's developed and over 750 acres large of just animal space. So like I was telling you guys earlier, the zoo here is enormous. So because of that, they actually have little bicycles that you can rent, that you can pedal bike all through the zoo so you can get the exhibits faster. And it even has a little roof, which is really nice when you're under the, like, the scorching Miami sun. To grab the bike. Thank you guys for waiting up right now for you the bicycle now. And when you guys are done with the bike, just put the camera to the back and the key to window five. Okay. You guys will have a good day. Time to go in. This camel is so cute. He's massive. You can get an all access pass, which allows you to feed all of the animals. It allows you to go on the monorail and hang out with little bugs like this one. And actually after this, we're heading to the rhino feeding too, which is really interesting. I just didn't even know that they let you feed this an many animals. Awesome. What a cutie. So, uh, Bobby. What day is it today? Does anyone know? Hump day. Hump day. <laughs> Isn't that right, big boy? <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Time to feed some rhinos. We just made it to the rhino exhibit where we're seeing a greater one-horned rhino, and apparently there's less than 3,000 of these left in the wild. Rhinos are some of the most endangered species on earth because people keep poaching them for their giant horn. The horn is made out of keratin, which is the same material that our hair and our nails are made out of. The rhino that is sitting in the pool right over there is pregnant and she originally was 3,000 pounds and since her pregnancy has gained another ton. So now she is 5,000 pounds and almost as big as the male black horned rhino that's in the other exhibit. We've learned that they're very, very territorial so they can't have the two rhinos in the same space. And we've also learned that although it's her feeding time, because she's pregnant, she's just really not even that interested in the food so she's just hanging out in the pool for now. Another really fun fact that we've learned about the rhinos is that they're not really known for their sight, they're known for their hearing. And so the ears, you'll see them like flop around, it's almost like little satellites. And the fuzzy little hairs that they have around there are audio receptors that help them hear better, which is why you see them like do this little thing. They're so cute. Oh, Cody! All right guys, she did not come to my second call. This is absolutely normal, okay? So these are animal permitted sites. In the past, they used to ring it nonstop. Ring, 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 until we got, until we got the animal to come up. That is not animal permitting, that is animal forcing. Something that I actually really respected about this exhibit in particular, and I think this really goes for all the animals, at least that's what they made it seem like, was that they don't force the animals to eat. They do it based on the animal's want. So they don't just sit there and ring the bell as long as they can or until they get the actual animal's attention. They ring it for a little while, show them that they have food, and if that animal doesn't want to come and eat, doesn't want to come and eat. And it's really cool that they don't force animals to do that. So when we were actually driving the cart past, we saw the buffalo chilling over here in the shade. And this is actually the kind of buffalo that we got to play with when we were in Pai, Thailand. So if you guys actually click that video up there, you'll be able to see us. And if you go to our Instagram, you'll be able to see like the stories of when that but a little buffalo just came up to us and like started playing. It was like jumping around and like trying to be like, what are you? I don't really see humans. And it was adorable. But that's what, that's what that thing reminded me of. And it was shaking its butt. 
It was shaking its butt, wasn't it? <laughs> so we rented the bikes like we showed you earlier, and this is what it feels like. It's nice, it's breezy, it has a roof, and you get to go through the whole park really quickly. We were kind of curious because we kept getting these like silkworms on us, but apparently every time that you go under one of the overpasses, that's where the silkworms live. And, and so, so they're like hanging down and they just kind of bump into you. It's really funny. Yeah. Hey, Hi, how are you? Are you puppies? Are what? A what? Guys, this place is awesome. So right behind me, we have an African painted dog, which it's a dog. Cool. Oh, was I supposed to give more information? I'm sorry. Lucky for y'all, I got you. So the African painted dog that's behind us, they typically only live in, tr in packs. If you were to separate one of them out of the pack, they won't survive. And they're one of the most wild animals in the entire zoo. The zookeepers can't even go into the pen to feed them. They have like a special feeding station because they will actually attack you. Also, some really wonderful things that we did learn was the fact that they stay together. If a dog is wounded or a dog is dying, they will stay with the entire pack together until that dog passes away. Also, the pack behind us just had five puppies. And usually, it's kind of strange, the first litter of dogs typically doesn't make it. But apparently, the mama back here has been doing a great job with her pups. All of them have survived. And now they are four weeks old and hanging out back there. Also, they keep all of the female pups in the pen. However, once the male dogs turn eight weeks, they get them all out because they will then try to be the alpha of the pack, which then causes conflict with the dad. Sorry, I'm out of breath. We just finished pedaling over here to get food. But the reason this is important is because Nanette and I, Nanette, Nanette and I have noticed that over the time of traveling that whenever we start getting a little cranky, we're like, okay, have we eaten? Have we drank water? If the answer is no, that's the reason for the crankiness. So we're here at the outpast, at the outpost grill. The oasis, the Oasis, o oasis grill. The oasis grill to go get some food. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be doing a little better after. We've learned that the zoo is four miles walking if you were to walk the whole thing. And so, come fed y'all. Come with water y'all. Do it. We ended up ordering a deli sandwich. The lady was super duper sweet. The prices are about $9 for a sandwich and it's a dollar to upgrade to normal fries. And I want to say that that's the price for most things. They have cheeseburgers, hot dogs, all sorts of sandwiches, wraps. Um, and they all tend to range between like that $8 and $10 range. And then if you upgrade a fries, you'll get to like $11 and $12. Water bottles are $3.25. We brought our own and they apparently refill it for free. So if you have like a big fat water bottle that you want to bring, go ahead and bring that with you to the zoo. You're going to save a little bit of money. We also learned that you can actually bring food with you into the park, which we didn't know or we might have done that. But I'm really excited about this sandwich because it looks enormous and it looks delicious. So now that we have our food that's sitting on that table for us, we are gonna actually gonna take a break, guys. But I'll tell you how the sandwich is after. Bye. Y'all, the sandwich that we had was absolutely delicious. It was pretty fresh and it was huge. Like Daniel and I were able to split one and I think it was 13 bucks including the water bottle. And something that's also really nice is that if you're coming with a family, the Oasis Girl is right next to the splash zone. It's like a kid's water play area. They have a jungle area where the kids can like stay dry and run around and burn off energy. And then they have the wet zone where you can come in your swimsuit. They have lockers right around here and a restroom that you can change and like dry off in. And the kids can just play. And then I'm gonna. Ah. Hey! Uh. Daniel! Uh. It's fine. Now I just have to walk all the way over there. Sorry, ma'am. Did you need a ride? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> These are our friends from Michigan. Yay! Say hi, friends! <laughs> so they got to witness Daniel uh, leaving me in the little cart <laughs> and yes. looking like a dork and chasing him after the camera. <laughs> yeah. And look how sweet they are. 
Giraffe eating time. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> So everybody's gonna have four of these branches. Beautiful. Sorry, I'm gonna pour for you as well. Thank you. So just a few quick rules, guys. While you're giving them food, you are allowed to stand inside the, inside the yellow line. Okay. But if there's no food in your hands or you're taking a photo, then please wait outside of the line and there's no touching, okay? Okay. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Are you done? Get more. Yeah. Over here we have two girls. So Sabra's closer to us and Zuri's a little bit further away. Uh -huh. um, Zuri just gave birth for the first time. So we've got one of the babies right oh here. My God. Oh. And we're missing oh, baby number one. So guys, these giraffes here, the big tall ones, there's three, and they are males. And then these two right here are our females. And this one's pregnant, guys. She also just had babies. It's the two little babies that you see. There's one there and one back there. They'll do this to try and get the food and then they'll wrap it and they'll take your hand. Let's see, can you do it? Can you do it? Look at that tongue, look at the tongue. It's okay, I got you, buddy. We've got him covered. This is Lizard. Lizard's a big old boy. Yeah, we finally let her drive. <laughs> Sorry, that was not toward you. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished feeding the giraffes and that was absolutely adorable. And it was so funny, they would try and like overpower each other to where they could like come over and just literally yank the food out of the other yeah. one's mouth. <laughs> My favorite part was the... <laughs> oh, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my God, this is a hill. Uh, oh, look at my that. My God. Look at the African There's elephant. There's elephants. Oh. oh, oh! the fun fact, the way that we know that that one's an African elephant outside of the sign, Ooh. by the way, <laughs> is if you guys click up here, we actually went to an elephant sanctuary in Chiang Mai, Thailand, which was awesome. We got to bathe them and play and with them. And snuggle them and But they're so cute. Oh, we got to clean up their poop. Yeah, we did get to clean up their poop. And then we got like a, some kind of picture frame made out of their poop, which was fun. I think Annette just has fun ringing the bell. No, there was people in the way. I don't want to run them over. Something that's been really lovely about having the little bicycle thing is that we're able to just kind of stroll around the park and whenever we see something interesting, we're able to be like, <laughs> We just kind of yank on the brake and it's like, yeah. Beep. Maybe we'll like overlay the sound of that. But if we don't, <laughs> it's really a loud sound. But you get to just stop and see all of the animals and we've had some really wonderful people. They have volunteers and zookeepers all over the park that will give you information on all the animals basically on demand. Also, the people who are at the feeding stations, they'll literally be like, hey guys, what do you want to know? And I'm yeah. like, everything. <laughs> We're like, wait, we can just sit here and pick your brain? On whatever animal you're next to, and they know it all. They're like, yeah, we feed these, and this one just had a baby, and this is all of their names, this is how old they are. I'm yeah. like, how do you tell them all apart? And it's just like, you just know them. <laughs> yeah, how they sweet. really do care about their jobs, and they really care about like the well-being and safety of the animal and like making sure that they're not making the animal do anything that the animal doesn't want to do yeah. which has been really awesome to see and sometimes the animals will be sassy yeah. and they'll just be like okay that's fine i got you <laughs> we're in front of the zebra exhibit we've learned that they live up to 10 years old and they to me just look like horses with stripes i really just want to hug them they have the floppiest ears and they'll just do this just like the rhinos i love them i just want to take all of the animals here home Daniel, can we start a zoo? Yeah? No. It was worth a shot. I think we're about to step into this little cave, like seating area where we can look through like glass windows. And hopefully there's gonna be some monkeys on the other side because we all know how much I love monkeys. So much, I love them.
Click up here for the poly. <laughs> They're my <Video>. favorite. <sighs> I thought that was the actual monkeys that were here. It's a recording. It didn't break my heart. Are they not there? No. Usually, the monkey will kind of hang out right there. And then you'll just be able to stare at him. But now it's hot, and he's probably taking a nap. Y'all, this gorilla is straight chillaxin. Also, the zoo tells you about how important it is to recycle your cell phones because there is a mineral found in them that's mined from the Eastern Republic of Congo, which is where these gorillas live. So, recycle your cell phones, save the gorillas. So one of the types of camels that they have here at the zoo is called the Bactrian camel, and it's actually from China. And this joker over here with like all the, what looks like a rug on his back, was literally just upside down rolling around and like, throwing up a bunch of dirt. It was really funny. We just learned something awesome. Do you want to know how a camel hides itself? <laughs> Camouflage. Get it. When I first saw hyenas in The Lion King, I definitely thought that they were part dog. I learned today that although they look like dogs, they're actually in the cat family. So if you stare at them, you can see that the way that they hunt prey, they'll stalk their prey just like any other big cat. Isn't that weird? They also look crazy, like they're on drugs. We're in line to feed the rhinos. The last time we were here at one o'clock or 12 o'clock, the rhino was not hungry, but he looks hungry now. And we're gonna get to feed him. We're about to feed the rhino and I'm so excited. Wow. Hi, big girl. Hi. This is a cootie. A cootie is pregnant. She's due any month now. She's a big girl. She weighs 5,000 pounds. Guys, that rhino looked like a dinosaur and had like a little beak. And she's pregnant. And it was so, so cute. And she just like, and ate it. I want a zoo. I just want like to snuggle all of the animals and take them all home. So we have been trying to find the parrot feeding, um, but our navigators have continued to detour us. I think they're waiting for me to get out and push the cart. We've been looking for this bird eater. <laughs> we went to the Everglades. We've had to do some U-turns, we went down the wrong way. <laughs> Since we've been back in the stage, we haven't been to the gym, and I told Daniel, I was like, we definitely got all of our workout today. <laughs> we'll be finally the whole three miles. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, my strategy, try to feed the birds in the trees, not the ones on the ground. Okay. Watch your step at all times. And um, since the exit is being fixed right now, just come back through the entrance, okay? Awesome, thanks, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aww. We finally made it, guys. We've been looking for the parrot feeding station for what feels like an eternity. We've biked over three miles going in circles, and I'm pooped. But this is the, the best way to end the day. The big kahuna next to the giraffes is having little cute birdies eat out of my cup. Nobody wants me. What? Oh. This was worth it. Hi! Little bird. You're so sweet. Are you gonna have my feed? You just wanna hear me talk. It's okay, I like to hear myself talk. You're so cute. This bird is so sweet. Mm -hmm.